This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Coolant renewal. Pull the bonnet release lever located in the driver's footwell. Press the safety catch under the bonnet to release it. Open the bonnet. With the engine completely cold, unscrew the expansion tank cap. Place the vehicle in first gear and operate the handbrake. Chock the rear wheels. Jack up the vehicle, position axle stands, lower the vehicle onto the axle stands, then remove the jack. Undo the offside screws securing the engine under tray. Then unscrew the near side screws. Followed by the rear screws. Slide the tray to release it. Remove the tray from under the vehicle. Position a suitable container beneath the coolant drain outlet, which is fitted to the coolant bottom hose end fitting. Remove the retaining clip. And disconnect the bottom hose from the radiator to drain the coolant. Alternatively, there may be a drain plug. If so, loosen it and allow the coolant to drain into the container. If desired, a length of tubing can be fitted to the drain outlet to direct the flow of coolant during draining. Once all the coolant has drained, securely tighten the radiator drain plug or reconnect the bottom hose to the radiator as shown here. Also, reconnect the coolant hose to the oil cooler, if applicable, and secure it in position with the retaining clip. Don't forget to remove the drain tray. Position the tray under the vehicle. Slide the tray forwards to engage it at the front. Fit the screws at the rear of the tray. Then refit the near side screws. Followed by the off side screws. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands, then lower the vehicle to the ground. Remove the jack. Remove the expansion tank filler cap and slowly fill the system with the coolant. Continue to fill the cooling system until bubbles stop appearing in the expansion tank. Help to bleed the air from the system by repeatedly squeezing the radiator bottom hose. When no more bubbles appear, top the coolant level up to the max level mark, then securely refit the cap to the expansion tank. Run the engine at a fast idle speed until the cooling fan cuts in. Wait for the fan to stop, then switch the engine off and allow the engine to cool. When the engine has cooled, Check the coolant level. Top up the level if necessary and refit the expansion tank cap. 